Chapter 35 Sick Patient Maharaj Inner Master, Outer Master OK, these are terms that are used for understanding purposes only. There is no external, no internal. To say internal master, external master means there is a division, duality, something that separates. You are dividing the world in two. I am inside, I am outside. Or the master is separate from me and I am somebody else. There is no such thing. We have created all these walls. Break down the walls. Questioner. There is no inner and there is no outer. Maharaj. Unless you accept what the master says totally. Questioner. That's right. There is no inner and no outer. No external, no internal, no inner, no outer. Maharaj. If you say outer, that means you're considering yourself with shape as a form. I'm somebody and there's a living master over there. Your presence is just like a living master. You are a living master. Your presence is just like a living master. You're a living master. Questioner. I'm a living master? Is there any difference between the living master in you and the living master in me then? Maharaj, there is no difference at all. Questioner. Is it the one master? Maharaj. What is this one master, two masters, three masters, four? We're not an accounting game. This is just for understanding. When you teach a child, you use these words. There is no one master, two masters, three masters there. In reality, you are the master. Questioner. So why do we bow to you, Maharaj? Is it because we realise you're the master and we are not realised yet? Maharaj, what do you mean by realisation? You are realised, but not paying attention to the realised state. You know better that Atman Brahman Paramatman is your ultimate truth, but you don't give any attention to this. You have no conviction, and therefore you're coming to me. After knowing the reality, after realisation, Enlightenment, call it what you will, you will know yourself in a real sense. Realisation means just that, to know oneself in a real sense, not in the body form. You are final truth. You're not the body, you were not the body, you're not going to remain the body. The question of I, you, all these terms are just used for discussion. Bodies are different, but spirit is one. Houses are different, sky is one. This is a cottage, this is a building, Russia, India, America, these are the names, sky is one. Sky is not different anywhere. We have given the names, this sky is America, that sky is Russia, England. Sky is sky. Questioner, we are here because of you, Maharaj, because you, Maharaj, are realised. You can assist us in reawakening because we have forgotten our reality. And if we do the practice of self-inquiry using the mantra and the teachings and anything else that is non-verbal in the presence of the Master, Maharaj, Nizargadatta Maharaj says, just take one step and I will take the next step for you. Questioner, if you lift my leg up from me, then maybe I can start running. So there is cooperation between the two then. The master and devotee are related, Maharaj. It's not one-way traffic. Since you are a doctor, you'll understand. When a patient comes to see you, he should cooperate with you. There will only be a cure if he cooperates with you. Questioner, yes, if he follows my advice. Maharaj, say a patient has some problem or other. You know that if the patient does not cooperate, then the treatment will not work. In your line of work, it's a two-way thing. It's the same here. Questioner. Here, I am the patient, and I am very sick, actually. I have many problems. Can you help? Maharaj. Ask any questions. Questioner. Oh, for example, money problems. Maharaj. There are no problems. Problems are physical problems, mental problems, intellectual problems, logical problems. All these problems are body-based problems. 
all these problems only appeared when you started knowing yourself in body form. When thoughts are flowing, accept useful ones for your routine life. If thoughts are not useful, then throw them out. Don't pay any attention to them. Questioner. It's very easy to be in your company, to feel free of these problems. But when you go home, problems arise and then you don't always know how to deal with them. Maharaj, no, no. You see, the world is your entire home. The entire world is your home. It is not America, not England, not India. Does sky have its own home? Questioner, that's right, not anywhere. There's no separation between here and England. Maharaj, does sky have its own home? Does the sky say, my home is in India? No, because sky doesn't know its own identity. Because you're uh, measuring yourself in body form, you say, my home is in America. Don't measure yourself in body form. All these troubles are coming from you doing just this. You're the cause of your own trouble. You're the victim of your own thoughts. Because you're paying more attention to the thoughts than to your selfless self. Thoughts happen. Good thoughts, bad thoughts. And then some words are spoken. We call all this mind. Mind is the continuous flow of thoughts for 24 hours. There are thoughts in the present, memories of the past, thoughts of the future. All memories cause problems. Say something distressing happened 10 years back and then in a flash it is remembered. All of a sudden, everything that happened then is remembered vividly now with every little detail. Memory pulls you back into the past and back into the ditch. You re-experience the pain all over again, saying, Oh, oh dear. Then, without noticing it, <clears throat> you feel depressed once again and suffer fresh torment. All this because of a memory. Thoughts are flowing because you have forgotten your presence. You are not witnessing the thoughts, but unfortunately accepting them. Therefore, these thoughts are causing you problems. You are to train yourself and decide which thoughts to accept and which to reject. Where to pay attention, where not to pay attention. You are a doctor, you know only too well when to pay attention and when not to pay attention. Questioner, I do well with my patients, but as far as I'm concerned, not so good. My habits are too strong. Maharaj, you can cure yourself. You are your own doctor. These thought, Those things that are intoxicating we call habits. Develop the habit of spirituality. Be completely intoxicated with spirituality. Be addicted. Teach yourself. Self-medicate. Questioner. I'm very happy to have a practice that I can do now. I'm already feeling the strength of the lineage. Maharaj, truth is placed before you. Reality is placed before you. Now the choice is yours. Which thoughts to accept and which ones to refuse? Here is a simple example. There is a big dish of foods with many different things to choose from. Some things on the dish don't agree with you. They're too rich, maybe, or fatty. So you say, I don't want this, I don't want that. Those disagreeable things that you don't want are removed, and the things which you want, you accept. It's not complicated. In the light of this, you're to train yourself. Train yourself. You are your own master. Questioner. The mantra should help me too? Maharaj. Yes, of course, of course. Questioner. And the more faith I have in the mantra, Maharaj, definitely. Questioner, the more likely I am to conquer difficult situations. Maharaj, the master key has been given to you. It's up to you how to operate it. The food has been served to you. Now you are to eat it. You are the architect, your own architect, your own master. <clears throat> 